Ah, good afternoon, guys. We have here a mystery box of camera equipment that I purchased from eBay here in Europe. So it's going to be some good stuff. I think probably a bunch of old Russian stuff. We don't know. So let's uh, let's open it up and find out and see what we got. Sorry for the cracked knife. I can't find a Stanley knife anywhere. If you like to pack stuff well. That's a newspaper, obviously. Hungarian newspapers. And there's more newspaper here than anything. Alright. Ooh, alright. I only paid about 35 US for this whole box of stuff, so let's see what we got in here. All right off the bat we have an old uh, rear cap for an old uh, Russian lens. Not worth much, but they always come in handy. This is some old uh, Shinon 900C flash. Not really worth much. Let's see if the batteries are in it. No, no batteries and it's not corroded. So eh, it's probably worth 10 or 15 bucks. So we're getting halfway there. Uh, this is a nice mystery here. We got an old lens in a case. See what it is. It's M42 mount, so that's good. And it is a Carinar 35mm 2.8. Yeah, that's a not a bad lens. It's clean. See, yeah, it doesn't look too bad. That's at least 35 bucks right there. Put that back in the case. So we got our money back already. It seems there's a bunch of little stuff in here. We'll get to the bit safe on the bigger stuff for later. There's another, oh, this is a light meter, I think, yeah. No, it's a flash, it's an old Kenex, K-E-N-N-E-X, KM12 Deluxe. I don't know, never seen one before. Lots of old crappy flashes that I hate. All right, ah, another lens, but seems this case is empty. That's terrible, because this is probably about 135, 135 millimeter lens that was in here. Maybe it's still in here somewhere, I don't know. Put that over there. Now, uh, here we go. We have a, oh, the Ashika Electro 35. And there goes the lens cap. Now, oh, this is nice. Once it fire, locked. Oh, wait, there we go. All right. Now, oh, that's a nice camera. Except it's missing the bottom plate. <laughs> All right. Maybe the bottom, the bottom plate might be in here somewhere, hopefully. But this is a fixed lens camera, so there's no, uh, you can't even just sell this lens off of it. Either way, we got a lens cap that's worth five bucks. Let's see what we got here. Certo. It's going to be a light meter, I bet. Nope. A little Lomo. A little Certo Lomo. Certo, Certo S110. So it's 110 film. Made in the DDR, which is the... Uh, the German East German Republic. So I don't know what kind of what size the lens is or anything on this, but uh, it's a fun. That's a definitely a fun little Lomo camera, and that is I could probably get twenty bucks out of that. So with the case, not a bad deal. We're definitely over what we paid for the stuff already. A bunch of lens caps. There's a Zenith lens cap for a um, Helios. It's a Canon, old Canon body cap. I actually sold one of those recently on eBay for 20 bucks, I think. There's just another no-name lens cap, but uh, we're racking up the lens caps. Let's see what we got. Oh, another flash. Another old flash with a Elgoa B131. These are usually useless, but some guy might want it for five bucks. Take it to the flea market and get rid of it. Oh, we have one little thing here. I don't know what this is. Oh, what is this? Now this is a light meter. That is an old school light meter right there. Electro BE dot B E W I made in Germany. It has seen better days, but it is a very cool little clamshake kind of pop open light meter. I like that. 
looks like a, looks like a shaving case that my grandpa had from the 50s. <laughs> it's seen better days. Who knows? That could be that could be worth 50 bucks. I doubt it, but it's probably worth five. Uh, there's a couple cameras down here. Uh, let's see what this is. This is a photo box. Old, uh, you see that? I don't, know, I don't know much about these. I don't know what it actually is. What film it takes? That is definitely not medium format. It's tiny. So I imagine it's 35 millimeter. But I, I can't figure out how to get it out of the bin, out of the case. I have no idea. No idea. There it goes. Look at this. So a photo box. Acrobat. So it's, it's 75 mil, 75 millimeter 1.7. And it says Mom Budapest on the lens. Can you see that? I don't know anything about this camera, but we'll look it up and see what it's worth. I'll put uh, reasonable sold comps on the uh, on the screen if I can find similar items. Put that back in its case somehow, like that. I think. Anyways, put that to the side back here. It seems we have one more that's very similar. Uh, this is a Hungarian camera. This is a Pachas. Acromatic 1.8, 80 millimeter. Can you see that? This is another old, I think these are Hungarian. These were actually made in Hungary back in the day during the Cold War. Again, I don't know how to get it out of the case. There we go. Can you see that? That's okay. <laughs> That's the advanced knob. Obviously there's no film in there. And the shutter. And then, you advance it, it releases the shutter. I have no idea how this works. If there's a focus on it or whatever. I don't think so. I think it's just a little, you could probably use this as a little Lomo camera. It could be fun for somebody. All right, we got one more. Oh, there's two more cameras in here. Uh, sorry about that, guys. The battery died on my phone. So uh, where were we? I think we've seen all of these, yeah? So we got a couple things left in here. We have... A, ah, a Smena SL. This is a great little Lomo camera. Let's see if it works. A bit dusty, but the shutter works. There's no advances. And it is a, what is it? A 40 millimeter, F4 40 millimeter. They don't give you much options on these things. So you either have, what is it? A fifth of a second, 15th of a second, 30th, 60th, 125th, or 250th. So I wouldn't go out shooting in broad daylight this thing. Uh, well, I guess you could. Yeah, look, slow enough film. But uh, there you go, that's that. That's a Smena SL made in Russia in the cold, during the Cold War. And we have one last one, which is still in the box, which is pretty freaking awesome. Right there, it says CCCP, made in the USSR. And this is, a, a v, I believe, a Vila, another Lomo style. Let's see if we can figure out how to get it out of the box. Ah, there we go, it's pretty easy. Oh, the box, man, cardboard, heavy. All right, look at that. So there it is. It is a Avila with the lens says triplet 69-3. And it is another 40 millimeter uh, F4 lens. How do you, okay, so that one, all right. So that's, there you go, and the shutter's right up front. Got a nice little viewfinder. Actually not dirty at all. This, this is a really, really nice shape. Made in the US, right there, made in the USSR. Uh, the lens is a bit dirty there. Sorry, I use my sweatshirt, but uh, all right, that's pretty cool. Let's see what we got in the box. Oh, you got the original receipts. Let's see when they bought it, how much it costs. Okay, this, this camera company is still in business, I believe, and uh, See, that's the original receipt there on some fine communist paper. And it was bought, where's the date? That's the Sama, that's the, the number, okay. October, I think 7th, 1981. So, during the height of the Cold War, this camera, who knows what it was used for? Could have been used for spying on their neighbors. Guy could have been a KGB agent, who knows? But uh, there you go, that's the haul we got today out of a random mystery box that I paid $35 for on the Hungarian 
like auction sites. So I think we did pretty good.